Hey, it's all about the seed of your father. Get me Numbers chapter 1 and 18. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. This is one that I want to come. Because what we are going to teach you right now, it's something we can save your life, sister. Because you're special. You're safe. How oh, you save, my beautiful sister? All right, so how oh, you save, that's why we are asking. Yeah, through Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to show you something. You see, let me tell you something about your eyelash before anything starts. Give me the book of um, Sirach chapter 26 and start at verse 9. You see, a long time you have the precept there and come like, hey, what your name is this? Zena. Beautiful name. Sirach 26 verse 9. The word of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids. So you see, you got put an extension. They said the word of, of a woman may be known by her looks and her eyelid. So you go put an extension. What you put an extension for? The Lord give you one well, little one already. You're supposed to satisfy with it. Right? Right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Make sure you wash your wear. Look what you wear, sister. Because we deal with truth, sister. And the so-called white man set up his system to keep us down. Right? You think you were free? Who you work for today? Yeah. All right, because you see, basically, you know, a employment, you are slave, you know. You understand? So you're not free, my beautiful sister. Them have it, you know, it's a little illusion where they are, live, sister. You understand? Make people, things sound good, but not no good boy. Right? My brother, I'm going to read to you and show you. So the thing where you have on for your eye. Look, in 1882. In 1882, London prostitute Gerda Peril invented elongated eyelashes or umbrellas to block seamen from getting in working girls' eyes. You see that? <laughs> right, so that's where it derived from. So you have some, the women them who are prostitutes. They are the one that put it over them eye to stop seamen from running in them eye. So you have to know what you're wearing, sisters. You understand? And look, what people are running them wear it and they don't even know where it derived from. What it's all about. So when a man of understanding look at you, that's why he won't think of you. You understand? But here, what sister, make a reason to be there. Give me Isaiah 1 and start at 18. Because we have to show you something, sister, because you're precious unto the Lord. The Lord loves you. And that's why I'm creator, right? Do you have a place? Do you ever hear about a place named Planned Parenthood? Planned Parenthood. We don't have some. We don't have bricks down too. Right? Because everything over there is over here too. Right? Isaiah 1 verse 18. Come now and let us reason together. And the Lord said we come together and reason together. Read. Says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. But the Lord said we skin, we sin red. But we shouldn't have red sin. We sin supposed to be pure as snow. Right? Because at the end of the day, sister, do you know what is sin? What is sin, my beautiful sister? Right. And sin is going against the word of God. Read it where it really about. First John 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. The sin are when we break God's law. So your argument to me, sister, should supposed to say, then brother, what is God's law? How many law did God give unto us? Eh? Right, right. Right. Beautiful sister, because the Lord gave us 613 laws to follow. You understand? And one of the law when give us the follow is like this. Get it together. Get me that. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Look how simple the heavenly father instruction is. Get it together. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah, gather together, oh nation, not desire. So the Lord said, we are the nation, not desire. So tell me something, sister. 
If you go to sign up a um, job application, what you call yourself? Participant? No, I mean like basically your national, your eth 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 ethnicity. Oh, ethnicity. Yeah. British. Okay, did they say white British? Mix. Right, so here one now, sister. Do you know none of we don't mix? Give me numbers 1 and 18. Did you read it? None of us mix, sister. This is what the Heavenly Father said. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers. That's why I'm asking so where your father from. So you represent your father. Because your father planted the seed in mother. And then you, in, nine mo in nine months time. Right, so who, who your father mixed with? Who's your father's father? China. Okay, so. And do you know your father's father? Okay. So she could come from, um, you know, the black man is a China as well, you know. You understand? Because. I don't know if you know Naomi Saka, that girl from Japan. Her father is a so called black man. You understand? So at the end of the day, man, you can be coming from the lineage of Israelites, same way, but not understand. Because, yo, me hear you quote scripture and you, you believe not the Bible. So your spirit, I be a witness with our spirit. Give me that in the book of um, Romans. Romans 8 and 16. Uh, Romans. Something. Romans 8 verse 16 the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh he said your spirit be a witness with our spirit that's why when brother call you you never frowns and carry on you say yo where are you and then boom brother tell you say yo this is it and then you assure back the same understanding so we have the same spirit, we bear the same spirit, man. So that's why we know that you may be part of the children of Israel, Lord willing. Right? So we are going to read some precepts to your sister and listen. You see the heavenly father said, listen to them. Um, let me show you something about Moab. Give me the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 48. And start at um, verse 20. Yeah, Jeremiah 48 verse 20. This is Jeremiah 48, verse 20. Moab is confounded. Moab is confounded. You know who named Moab? Moab. Those are the name, biblical name of the Chinese. Moab. For it is broken down, howl and cry, till ye hit in iron that Moab is spoiled. Moab is what? Moab is spoiled. The Lord said Moab is spoiled because they say Moab him heat anything. He must eat a live frog. Just jump in a Moab, take him up and just eat him. But if we do that, we're sick and dead. Because our system is different from those. Do you know the heavenly father of alien on the earth? You don't know the heavenly father of alien on the earth? Yeah. Give me the book of um, Lamentation chapter 5. I start at um, two. Lamentation five verse two. Oh, our inheritance is turned to strangers. No people them that used to live in Je to, in Jerusalem, they're not living there no more. The Lord scatter us amongst all people. No, we. Leave Jerusalem and stranger living at Jerusalem. And what did I call them now? Read. Our houses to aliens. Our what? Our houses to aliens. So the people are living at Jerusalem right now, the Lord call them aliens. Because that's what they are. They are literally aliens. Right, because the Lord now work with them. The Lord don't know them. The Lord don't know the children of Israel. So that's why literally they are aliens. Right? They may walk around with foot and hand, but look upon them good. 
Them have recessive genes. Them are dead. Right? <laughs> Read. <laughs> you want more on that? Or Amos? Amos 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the Lord said, I'm going to know the Israelite. What did happen in Egypt at the time with Moses? Yeah, at the time of Moses. What Moses said, let my people, let my people go. So the Israelite was in Egypt with Moses when the Lord sent Moses to lead them out. So you know the Lord said, no, you only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the Lord said, out of all the families of the earth, he only know us, the children of Israel. And what he's going to do? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So we sin against the heavenly father. And now we are live out the punishment when this dog unto us. That's why we run here. The last fire, first fire. That's why we run here. Becomes at the bottom of society. Because there's a curse on us. Right? But our people fail to realize what's happening. Because what? Them love likes. Right? Them love man feed them and give them things. But we, sister, we're working up. We go out there go work. And work for the enemy. And go back home. And then we forget the enemy. Until we go back on the plantation. Right? Read. You want more than that? No. Come on. Can two walk together? Read where you Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 21 Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself So the Lord said you as an Israelite woman If anything die of itself You should not eat it But what you can do with it Read Thou shalt give it unto the stranger So all of the people who are not Israelite They are stranger And what the Lord call them That is in thy gates uh -huh. That he may eat it So definitely am anything with dead by itself if it have mad cow disease, if it have anything, give them it for eat. But you can't eat it. Huh? What kind of what? Okay, put some, put some raisins up, a farmer sheep. And when we go to the wall of them, they drop them and then. More and profit. So we can't take them and sell them to the other nation. But me can sell them to my people. Because that is against the Lord. But me must sell it to the other people. Read. Or thou mayest sell it unto an alien. What did the Lord say? Or thou mayest sell it unto an alien. So the Lord will call the other people an alien. And make what? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So we only, we set apart. Right. You understand that? So we know, have to make sure, say, everything what the Lord says, we have to be obedient and obey it. Right? Because the heavenly father said this. Give me the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter um, 11, verse 26. Deuteronomy 11 and 26. All right, we'll, we'll give you something. Hold on, hold on, here. With up on YouTube. Right? Right, right, right. So at the end of the day, man, you have something? Leviticus 11 and 7. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. And be clothed footed, yet chew it not the cud. He is unclean to you. Right. We not near no pig, man. Right? We not eating no pork. We not eating no ham. We not eating no pepperoni. Right? None of those hog we not eat. Because he's unclean unto us, man. We only eating good food when the Heavenly Father gave us to eat, man. Right? Because yo, the Heavenly Father says. We supposed to eat clean animal. And what's a clean animal? A sheep. A goat. Right, read it. Read it, read it. You eat pork, sister? You eat pork? No. You eat pork. Alright, listen what the Lord said about the pork. This is Leviticus 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be clothed and footed, yet to it not the cut, he is unclean to you. So we not to eat the pork. Is it eh? Right. Sure, it, man. We have evidence. Right? Sister. Hello, sister. Right. You know, like an attribute of a goat. When a goat eat, him bring up back the food 
and then him chew it over again, just like a cow. But the hog doesn't do that. The hog is like a, you see a crow that fly, or he just pick up the uh, swallow, that's what the hog do, right? You know how to swallow, that's how the Lord make him. He is a clean of the earth. He's like a crow walking the earth. You have crow that fly, and you have the crow that walk. So the hog is a crow that walk the earth. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch. You're so special, the Lord said, do not even touch him. If you touch him, you sin. That's how special you are, yeah? So you are, you have got to change your diet. You understand? Because now the Lord is going to tell you what you can eat. Leviticus 11 verse 7. Leviticus, yeah, Leviticus chapter 11. And you start at 7. Right, and when I read verse 9, it tell you what you can eat. So we are going to tell you what you can eat now. No, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Right, right. No, she's right. She's a diligent girl, man. Right? I love you for writing on that one. I love you, right? Good girl, good girl. Verse 7. So from verse 7. Yeah. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters. So what have fins and scales in the water, the Lord, so we can eat it. Right? So if something do not have fins and scale, we cannot eat it. Now I'm going to ask you something. When are the sea where have fins and scale? You have fish. You have catfish. Catfish have fins and scale? Okay, well you can't eat catfish. You see, heel. Heel, he has fins, but he has no scale. You cannot eat him. What about mackerel? He has fins, but he has no scale. You cannot eat him. Shrimps, right. You eat shrimps? And, that, and lobster, we cannot eat those. Because those are cockroach. They are bottom feeders. Right, right. So, yo yeah, man, yo yeah, man, we love our people. You know, intrigued to hear what I want. Sister, come here, two minutes. I remember you, you know. I remember you, man. Eh? No, are you me attack, sister? <laughs> Eh? Yeah man, see him there? Right, right. Yeah man. We now stop teaching them, you know, because yo, the breath now body, you know. And the breath now body, so we are going to teach them. So once you don't have breath now body, we can't teach them. You understand? So we are holding out for your Lord, man. Right? Now give me the book of um, First Maccabee, chapter 3, and start at 21. And give me 2 and 48. First Maccabees. 3 verse 21 But we fight for our life What the Lord say? But we fight for our life We are fight for our life out there man Cause yo My brethren children are my children them That's right And my life them That's We are fight right. feet Read And our laws And we are fight for our laws Because what? If we don't fight for our laws We are gonna do what? Rooting out our hurt Read We are for The Lord himself will overthrow them before our face and as for you, be ye not afraid of them. What the Lord said, be ye not, not afraid, afraid of them. them. Be not afraid of no guy, no girl. The Lord said, don't be afraid of them. Fight for my life. Fight for my laws. And what laws is that? The laws of God. That's right. Who can fight for? The Christian church is nothing but a war house. Right? Not telling the people the truth of the Bible. But we are reading scripture, man. Right? That's it. We've been fought to and fought here. First Maccabee chapter 2 and verse 48. So they recovered the law out of the hand of the each of the Gentiles. What did the Lord say? For they recovered the law out of the hand of the Gentiles. And we are recovered back with law. We find out so we don't think they the poor. We don't have the poor. We find out say yo, we're supposed to love your brother as yourself. God. We don't kill your brother. We don't kill your sister. We are love them like ourselves. And we are gonna hate the enemy. Because they teach you to hear each other. I want to hear them. Read. And out of the hands of kings, and out of the hands of all of them, we are making them decree. Right? 
because we are standing for the Lord in righteousness. We there. Book of Sarah 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. What the Lord said? Strive for, for the, the truth, truth unto death. death. And we are striving for this truth until death. Right? Because, yo, the Lord said it. So we are strive, man. We are fight, man. We are fight to way through this place. That's right. Because this place is our a trap oh. unto us, man. So we have to fight our way through. Read. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. And what the Lord said? And the Lord shall fight for thee. We are going to strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord will fight for us, man. Right? You have some king? Give me, give me um, Maccabees. First Maccabees chapter 2. And start at 19. Right? Because we are striving for this truth, man. Right? We are fight for this truth, man. We are feared for the Lord, man. We are holy out, man. We are up on the ground, man. We are holy out for the Lord, man. We are not sit up, man. We are stand up for the Lord. Yes, right. We stand up with might. We are. What? 40. 12. It's the book of First Maccabee, chapter 2 and verse 19. Then Maccabeus answered and spake with a loud voice. Though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him and fall away everyone from the religion of their fathers. Right, so that's why right now people them start a church. Every Sunday, they pack up in a church. And forget the way of the heavenly father. Then forget the way of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. When Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, every Sabbath, they praise the Lord. Now people them start following the way of our rusty king. Some more rotten box. Some look a rusty steel would look it, man. <laughs> Read. And give consent to his commandments. And them take consent unto the king's commandment. <laughs> and start worship what king said. And forget what Yahweh and Shimei and Chai said. Right? Read. Verse 20. Yet will I and my son and my brethren walk in the covenant of our father. We, the son, our brethren, are going to walk in our covenant yes, our father, yes. man. Right. We're not leaving the covenant our father. Right? right? What do you have video for? Eh? You have video for making no say he's a germ to You have video yes. us to make everybody know say you have nothing but a small grip with a spoil. Eh? You have video if you make everybody know say Use nothing but all leeches. Eh? You have been away to make everybody know, sir. You're nothing but the scum and the hurt. Read. God forbid that we should forsake the law and his ordinance. God forbid that we should forsake our father's law and his audience, man. Right? We stand up in the might of the Lord. And we are doing the heavenly father work until death. Right? Verse 22. We will not hearken to the king's word. What? We will not hearken to the king's word. We're not going to do the way of life. We're not going to do no chichi boy thing. We're not going to do no, you know, all of them little frozen thing with them. That's right. Be clear with them coming. We're not following them. We're following Yahweh. That's right. We're following the lords of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's our way home. That's right. Right? To go we, from our religion either on the right hand or on the left. To left our origin, religion on the right and uh, on the left. We're not leaving it. We're still up in the laws of our fathers. That's right. We're doing what our father says, man. In truth and in sincerity. Read on. That's it, Anna. Um, jump to verse 50. What you have This is the book of Sarah 7, verse 2. Depart from the unjust. What the Lord said? Depart from the unjust. The Lord said we have to depart from the unjust. A lot of unjust people around here. We are departing from them, man. Because uh, they don't have interest at all. Depart from the unjust, man. We go walk around with the just. Read. And iniquity shall turn away from thee. And the Lord said iniquity are going to stay away from us. Because we do what? Depart from the unjust. That's right. So iniquity have to stay away from us because we're not wrapping up with the unjust, we're wrapping up with the righteous. God. Read. Sarah 7 verse 16. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath will not tarry long. You see that? The Lord said, don't put yourself against 
with the multitude of sinners. Right. Because the rat now tarry long, man. Right. It's coming, man. That's right. Because that's why in the Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, the Lord said, It is appointed for a time. We are it's coming. Hey, give me that. Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. You have more upon that, King? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, man. Right? Yo, King. Yo, big. Walk on. You believe now, Lord? All right, who want to talk to you, you know? Come in, man. Come on a reasoning, man. Right? Give me a read, Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the visions and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. For the visions is yet for an appointed time. The Lord said the vision is yet for an appointed time. The Lord says, we the children of Israel was going to go into slavery. We did go into slavery. The point in time did come and it happened. Right? Read. But at the end it shall speak. The Lord said right now it are going to show, it are going to happen. Right? Because all of these precepts jumping off the Bible and coming into reality. Right? So now I understand. When we, give me the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 40. 46. And start at um, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning, man. Because no power can declare the end from the beginning, but the heavenly Father, Listen who is the hour by Shimei Chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. What the Lord said? Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, say, my counsel shall stand. Anything the Lord said have you happened. The Lord said, he might go make earthquake happen in a diverse place. You see Morocco shake down, how much thousand of them dead? You see Turkey shake down, how much thousand of them dead? The Lord said, come in with fire. I want me look, Missy Greece burn down. Right? I want me look, Missy Ohio burn down. How more places I go burn down? Right. Spain burn down. Right? Yeah, King. Spain burn down. Right? Even um, where next one name besides Spain? Eh? Yeah? Portugal burn down too. Right? And all of them highlands to them have run them. Lava raise up and I burn down the place. So what the Lord said, it now go void. It now go up, accomplish what he pleased, man. Right? Now give me give me um, up, um go back to the book of Maccabee 2 and 50 now. It's the book of first Maccabee chapter 2 and verse 50. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. What the Lord said? Be ye zealous for the law. So when they say no, now it's step out here, the Israelite, with zealous for the heavenly father law. We come out here, we remember our forefather, what they used to do. So when we come out here, we don't come out here idle. We come ah. out here zealous for the Lord. We come out here, thus says the Lord. Right. Read. And give your lives for the covenant of your father. The Lord said we be give you life for the covenant of our father, man. You know much our people and give them life for the covenant of our father. Right. That's why we have the Bible. That's right. right. Because the name left here in existence to read about them not dead them still here read verse 51 call to remembrance the, what acts our fathers did in their time so we have to call to remembrance all of the acts all of the doings that these men do in their time man we have to remember these things man as my brother said earlier on a tree without root it root up and gone somewhere else, man. And you if it's not dead, it plants somewhere else. And now it start calling itself a different name. Right? Read. <laughs> so shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. You see? We will receive great honor and an everlasting name, man. And that's why we are going to keep on doing the work of our father. Because our father is the one that leave this book here. That's right. And yo, we want great honor from the Lord. So we are going to keep on doing this work and be obedient unto him. Right? Come here, sister. Two, two minutes, man. Another bus coming, man. Right? Because this is the love that we are showing people, man. Where your background from, my beautiful sister? Eh? Watch your smile. I like that smile. Where your background from, sister? Eh? Jamaica. So that will make you be a daughter of Zion. You hear about the Israelite? Now you heard about the Israelite. You know you have to get down. Because either you get down or you lay down. Now give me the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 26. 
Because this is where the Lord said unto us, right? And we know say so you love life, right? What have we love life? But you know the Lord said. Deuteronomy 11, verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. A curse. And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So the Lord said, Him set before us blessing and curse. A blessing if we obey the commandment of the Heavenly Father. And a curse if we do not. So, so far, do we obey the commandment of the Lord? Yeah? Alright, so what we know then? Curse. Yeah, the Lord said plain and straight. If we obey, blessing. If we do not obey, curse. So right now we are under a curse. And that's why people kill us as free will and get away with it. It's the Lord doing. Now read through Make we trust. 36 and 10. He openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth them, commandeth that they return from iniquity. So the Lord said, Him open our ears and give us understanding for us to leave away from sin. Iniquity means sin. Read. If they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. So if we obey the Heavenly Father and serve Him, we shall spend our days in prosperity. Right. We look like we're in a prosperity. You know, sister, we're under the bottom of the floor. Read on. And their years in pleasure. And we ever live in pleasure if we serve Him. Read. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without no knowledge. And no, we're not obeying. So we are got dead by the sword. You know what is the Lord's sword? Famine, gunshot, rain, flood, thunder, everything on the Lord's sword. The Lord said, because we not do it, we are going to die without knowledge. And love, sister, we are going to ask you a question. You know what is sin? You know what is sin? Yeah. Eh? What is sin? Eh? No, if you don't know, you can say you don't know. It's a good answer that you know. I'm going to show you what is seen by the definition of the Bible. Because we are here to teach our beautiful people. Right? Because we have interest in our people. Now give me the book of... Um, give me... Um, yeah, read, read, read it. This is the book of 1 John 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So you hear what is sin? transgression of the law so sin is when we break god's law so first and foremost sister how much laws did god gave unto us do you know well we get more than 10 10 is moral law and i father and i mothers things are we supposed to know you understand then him give us 613 with the 10 you know the 613 Right, because we have things that we can't eat. We have laws that we're supposed to keep. The feast days, right? And today is one of the last feast days. Today is the Sabbath, right? But what them tell us, eh? cook soup for Sabbath, right? Because what? The slave master teach us to stay away from God. But we have to come back to the way of the Heavenly Father. Now read what you have, King. Eh? Yeah. Now listen to Judith 8 and 24. Now therefore. <laughs> Judith 8 and 24. Now therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren because their hearts depend upon us. You see? We are sure an example to our people. Because what you don't know and we know, your heart depending upon us to show you. What you don't know? Read. And the sanctuary and the house and the altar rest upon us. Right. Moreover, let us give thanks to the Lord our Yahweh. So the Lord said, everything rests upon us when Noah was going to teach our people. Right. And that's why it's imperative for us to show our beautiful sister was going. Do you eat pork? Huh? Once in a while. Now look what the Lord said about these things. Right? 
This is Sister, you see what you're doing? I tell you this, what you're doing, sister, you are admit your faults. And the heavenly father, uh, may I read something? Give me the book of um, Psalms chapter 32, verse 5. This is the book of Leviticus 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, he is, and be clothed and footed, yet chew it not the cud, he is unclean to you. So the pig unclean unto us. That's how people might have high blood pressure, diabetes. What do you think these things happen to it? The things that we are putting in our body. Right. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch. Why the pastor not telling our people these things? Because the pastor is certified liar. He will get a survey ticket from the oppressor to come and oppress us. Right? But we don't get no survey ticket. We are bring out the truth. Read. They are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters. We can eat fish with our fins and scale. Now, when are the water when our fins and scale? Prawn, lobster, crab. These things we can't eat them. Once we are eat them, we are eat the bottom feeder. And these things eat doodle. These things eat dead body. You understand? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> well, you see, watch our beautiful sister come back, right? Are you was here with the one you know, yeah. right, man? Because yo, we're there with the word of the heavenly father, and one thing the word is like a magnet, it drawn, you know, the righteous people to it right. because not any anybody can hear this word. It has the all right, give me the book of um, John chapter 6 and start at um, 64. This is the book of Numbers 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Now look on the young man borders. These are fringe. This is where we are read about in the scripture. Look at our beautiful sister dress. Skirt. She has on it. <laughs> uh, you need a border blue. You need a border blue. <laughs> uh, throughout.